Hello, salam. My name is Arya. I'm a filmmaker from Iran, and I'm here to tell you about an encounter that changed my life. Ten years ago, when I was 16, I arrived alone in the United States, holding an Iranian passport stamp with a single entry visa. It meant that practically I couldn't leave, so I stayed. And now it's been a decade since I last saw Iran or my family. I moved to New York City, and it was here where one winter at three in the morning, I really needed a milkshake. I stepped into Ray's candy store, and immediately I realized I might have found home again. The shop's walls are covered with layers and layers of photos, and among them is Ray's citizenship certificate, and it looks recent. Back in the 1950s, Ray was Asghar. He's from Tabriz, the same town as my father. Asghar was an officer in the Royal Iranian Navy. He always wanted to do something different with his life. One day, their ship came to the United States, and when they were leaving, Asghar jumped ship, swam back to shore, threw away all his documents, and for more than three decades, he pretended to be Ramon Alvarez, a Puerto Rican man running Ray's candy store. Ray is the last man standing in the East Village. He's kept watch 24-7 over everyone in the neighborhood, from punk rockers and revolutionaries to tourists and bankers. Ray hasn't seen Iran or his family for the past 55 years, and all this time he kept his connection alive with Iran through poetry. Ray lives in the poetry of Ferdowsi and Omar Khayyam. This is the kind of poetry that I was in love with in Iran, but I had somehow forgotten about. I was fascinated, and soon after I started filming Ray and working for him at the store, and I recorded all my life in New York City, and I've gathered all the footage that I have from my childhood and teenage years in Iran, and discovered powerful and surprising ways that Ray's life and my life might be mirrors of each other. Now I need your help to get this film done. I think that given the anti-immigration policies in the United States and the growing tensions between Iran and the West, it is imperative for this film to be finished and seen around the world. For Iranian immigrants and immigrants as a whole to be seen as the purveyors of culture and beauty and poetry and as integral parts of our societies. The Candy Store film spreads Ray's message of love and freedom and it tells us that the boundaries of geography and age are arbitrary and it is indeed possible for us to carve our own paths in life. But this film will be impossible without your help. Your contribution will cover the costs of hiring an editor, a composer, a sound designer, color correction, and all these technical elements that go towards bringing a film to cinemas. I hope that we can together bring Ray's message to the world. Tell your friends, tell your families, Thank you so much. Khairi mochakiram. Khodani yatab.